Pass where they started from, going towards fence number seven of the 16 here. On the outside in the pink, Dashing George. On the inside in the green, full of beans. Then on the inside, the lighter of the two greys, that's Alanaika. The darker of the greys, the Lynx, and a better jump there by Taffy Thomas. Going towards another plain one, fence number eight. Coming towards the halfway stage in the Tim Barkley Memorial. Handicap chase. Good first prize here of nearly 7,000 pounds. And by Jove, they'll have earned every penny of it. So, oh, mistake by Fuller Beans. Ooh, always puts in a funny one, but got away with it. Ali Sterling sat tight there. So one or two just going through the top, but the jockeys are still there, and that's the important thing. Dashing George leads out of the back straight. Back towards us, towards the second of the ditches. This is fence number nine of the 16 in this 2.45 race here at Fake. And I'm up front, Dashing George. They've been going a good clip right from the word go. Here they come and jump the ditch. All okay over that, about eight lengths between the leader, which is Dashing George, and the back marker, which is Taffy Thomas. Remember, still over a circuit to run as they come back towards us. Dashing George, the leader, full of beans, is second. Third place on the inside, Ella Nika. Towards the outside in fourth is Sir Lynx, and the back marker is still Taffy Thomas. That's basically been the order right from the word go. Here they come and jump flight, uh, fence number 10. It will be the last next time round. This time round, it's fence number 10 of the 16. Lovely old five jumped it well. A short run towards the next fence number 11. The two fences in quick succession here in the home straight at Fakenham. And as they come to it and jump it, all still standing with a circuit to run. So leading them out in the country for the last time. Dashing George first, full of beans second. Elanica third. Sir Lynx is fourth. And still the back mark, but very close now, is Taffy Thomas, who was in front when unseating his ride up two out at Market Raisin last time out. So, taking closer order towards the outside, there's probably six lengths between the quintet. Going towards fence number 12 of the 16. Five left to jump. Four plane, one ditch. Pink colours, dashing George. Lands just in front. Ooh, a favourite made a big mistake, but he's OK. But that cost him a few lengths. Ellen Eichers dropped back to last. Aidan Coleman didn't move. The horse was on his knees, but he still didn't move. So he's last, so let's see what the favourite can do. The others will try and kick on a bit, I would think, having seen that. And Dashing George has the lead. Up on the outside in second is Full of Beans. Then in third place, the darker of the grey Sir Lynx. Towards the outside, Taffy Thomas. Do put in a short one there. And a mistake again by Alan Iker towards the rear. Favourite's going to start waking up here because the first two are beginning to get away. And Dashing George has the lead on the outside, Full of Beans. This is three from home. As they jump it, Dashing George. Oh, Full of Beans is down. Full of Beans is gone. Slithered on landing and has gone. And that has left Dashing George and Ryan Winks, one of the big outsiders here, absolutely out on his own. Well, he's eight in front. Sir Lynx sets off in pursuit. The others are absolutely flat to the boards, trying to chase this one. But it's the amateur, Ryan Winks, running for his dad, Peter, on Dashing George. The other three are after him, but there's only two fences left to jump. He's safely over the second last. Now the others jump it as well. But can they catch? The amateur's in front. In second place, Tom Messenger on Sir Lynx. On the outside, Taffy Thomas third. Ellen Iker fourth. Here they come back towards us. It's Dashing George. He's really gone for it all the way. He's six in front. Can the amateur, Ryan Winks, the man I call Tiddly, come home and beat the top pros? He's got one fence left to jump. In the the Tim Barkley Memorial, handicap chase. This is going to be a big price shock if he can jump the last. Dashing George comes into it. He's over safely. It's the shock of the day. Dashing George is going to provide it. Well ridden by Ryan Winks. What a ride by the amateur. What a great result for the family. Dashing George is the winner. In second place, we have got Sir Lynx in second. In third is Taffy Thomas. In fourth, Alan Iker. First, number two, Dashing George. Second, number three. Third, number five. And the fourth horse, number one. The full result of the Tim Barkley Memorial Handicap Stipple Chase. First, number two, Dashing George. Second, number three, Sir Lynx. Second, number five, uh, third, number five, Taffy Thomas. And fourth, number one, Elenica. The distances were 11 lengths and 1 and 3 quarter lengths, 11 lengths and 1 and 3 quarter lengths.